Welcome back. Did you have an answer to our behind the scenes trivia question? Here's the question again. The cost in dollars per square foot for a manufactured home is less than the cost for a site built home. But how much less? Is it A, 10%, B, 25%, or C, 40%? The answer is C. A manufactured home can cost as much as 40% less to construct than a traditional site built home. Joining me now is behind the scenes field reporter Tom Erickson. Hi, Maya. Tom, just recently you took our cameras behind the scenes of a home building factory to see this factory construction process up close. Tell us what you found. Well, if you've never seen the inside of a manufactured home factory before, you may be in for a surprise. I know I was. What I found was a well organized crew of professionals working together. It's really a team approach. That's one of the most important things, teamwork. If you got a group of guys that work together, that's a, we say here, piece of cake to work, enjoy, come to work. Teamwork is extremely important. Uh, without teamwork, we couldn't build a product. The construction of the homes is done in phases. Each phase is completed in a different area of the factory by a specialized team. For example, the workers in the first area construct the floor and walls of the home using equipment and tools designed to best accomplish this phase of the building process. I am assembling the frames for the front of the cabinet. To me, there's real sense of satisfaction in being able to put something together where I don't have any cracks or gaps, and it's good quality wood going through. So that's satisfaction for me. Once all the tasks within one area are complete, the home moves to another area of the factory. Each area has its own team of craftsmen and women specially trained for the tasks at hand. Everyone wants to live in a home that they're happy with, so to me, that's, I take pride in everything I do here with my job. And if people need help, I'll help them out because we're all a team and you need a team to get a house like this going out the door, it looks good. There are obvious and not so obvious benefits of constructing a home in a factory. Let's take a look. At one end, quality materials are delivered and stored in a safe, dry environment. Modern handling equipment and storage systems are an important part of the building process. Under the factory's roof, fresh building products are stored, ready to be assembled into a quality home. The shelves are always full, so there are no delays caused by lack of materials, lumber, windows, siding, and appliances. Virtually every part of the home stands ready to take its proper place in the construction process. The base of a manufactured home is solid. It's a firm and reliable support for a home placed in a land lease community or on private property in a subdivision or country site. Every floor is built on a fixture that ensures the home will be perfectly square. And each floor serves as the support for a home that can be over 2,000 square feet in size. Manufactured homes are built in one, two, or occasionally three sections, offering a wide range of possible floor plans. We did a lot of options, we made a lot of requests, and the, every re request that we did was filled. Windows changed, windows added, our kitchen is 100% carpeted, no questions. Added a window in the bathroom, no question. Put up an extra wall. Well, sure we can, and they can. They can do anything you want. All you gotta do is make the suggestion if you have uh, something that you want changed in them when you're buying your home, uh, they'll certainly try to do it if they can. Wall sections, also built on special fixtures, can be up to six inches thick, accommodating deep energy-saving insulation. Exterior walls can be covered with many different types of low-maintenance siding materials, available in an assortment of textures and colors. Manufactured homes have pitched roof systems that meet the highest standards. Technology has made a variety of roof lines available to home buyers. Trusses, true and perfect, are engineered to withstand severe weather. Shingles come in a variety of textures and colors, and decorative gables add distinctive styling to the homes. Attractive, energy-efficient windows selected by the owner become part of the home's character and unique identity. You are able to design it the way you want. You can do exactly what you want to do with it. This is not my first home that I've built, so Having built a stick home, I had no problem doing what changes I wanted in the manufactured home. Now, contrary to what you might think, a manufactured home leaves the factory looking like a finished home. 
Not just a shell of a home. Flooring, cabinets, countertops, bathroom fixtures, lights, even window treatments are installed right at the factory. Our appliances are top grade. We were very pleased. It included a dishwasher, a side-by-side -side refrigerator, a microwave, and an oven. Each home is custom designed and built to the taste and needs of the homeowner. Roof pitch, room sizes, wall materials, windows, fireplaces, and kitchens are available to meet the needs, tastes, and budgets of any lifestyle. Kitchen cabinets, for example, are available in scores of finishes and sizes. I love the kitchen. It's uh, spacious, lots of covered space and everything's right where I need it. Everybody comes in and is pleasantly surprised when they walk in and just totally overwhelmed. The first thing they come into is the kitchen and they're like, oh my God, you know, this thing is huge and it's beautiful. Nowhere is the worker more important to quality than in a manufactured home factory. Skilled men and women, many who have been on the job for decades, practice their craft daily. We found designers, decorators, carpenters, electricians, cabinet makers, window specialists, heating experts, virtually every skill it takes to construct a quality home. I'm the same guy to be doing it if they were, uh, if I was coming out to the site and doing it. I think of every house as if it was my own when it comes out of here and I, I'm really picky about my tiles. I mean, I, if I don't like a piece that fits, I'll recut it just to make it look the way I want it. I bought a house that, was that I helped to build. In fact, they're moving, they're moving in today and I tell you, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's a good house. Quality control inspections are conducted at various stages of the process to ensure that everything meets the federal building code and that it is built according to the buyer's specifications. At the final stage of construction, a quality inspector goes over the home one more time, searching for any minor imperfections, which are corrected before the home ever leaves for its final destination. I'm just looking for uh, problems with doors, um, more or less everything, base, tram, problems with window, just making sure the house looks in tip-top shape before it goes out the door. For here, for instance, we're missing a piece of trim that should be there. And put a piece of red tape on when it gets up front, the trimmers will come back up and work off what they missed. You can see the staples. The mud job wasn't quite perfect. Staples are a little high down through here. What they'll do is they'll take care of that. They'll sand it off and repaint it, make it look sharp. I'm looking for anything damaged, anything out of the ordinary, anything that's not caulked, gaps on the trim. I find it, I tag it, and then people come up and fix it. Here we're looking to make sure all the cabinets look nice, no staples coming through. Good job. Somebody's going to live in these homes. You want a nice home for them to live in, and it actually makes you feel better when you're putting out a good product. That's very interesting. Thanks, Tom. Now, let's take another short break. And when we return, we'll go behind the scenes with some manufactured home owners. But first, here's another behind the scenes trivia question. How many Americans live in manufactured homes? Is it A, 10 million, B, 19 million, or C, 25 million? We'll have the answer when we return. Mm -hmm. 